thank you so much for watching our videos and today we are going to share with you a very very interesting technique or study that can be applied in many different aspects of the Jutsu. Uh, today I'm um, working and studying with Sio Jorde and Sio Shui Nogueira and the concept we want to transmit to you today is called Mokuru. Uh, Moku comes from wood and ro comes from uh, like uh, falling from a cascade, from like, like a waterfall. So it would be like the falling of the wood, like a waterfall. So it uh, denotes the concept of something that comes down with a, with really fast, with a, a lot of strength. And it comes from the idea of using a walking stick, like this. This is the wood that is going to come down. We're going to explain this concept of Moroko in two uh, main ideas. The first idea will be mechanical and the second idea is going to be dynamical. Uh, the, 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 the basis from this technique is the use of the walking stick because uh, this uh, particular study was performed by older people. So, one of the secrets that is going to be from the mechanical part is the use of, of the staff or the walking stick. Some of you maybe have seen the way we perform strikes using a yo, but in this case we are going to use the, the stick in a very different way because we want to increase and optimize the force that we are exerting on the staff. In this case the, the, the ancient masters use the, the stick uh, to strike in this way strike in this way. So look at this position and the main idea is the further we are from the sticks the more velocity the tip will have. If we do something like that the center of rotation will be around here but if we use like that the center of rotation will be farther away so the velocity that this thing is going to have, the, the final tip of the staff is going to have, will be higher, really higher. And the main idea is that this older person has not a uh, strong uh, physical energy. So it was like magic to see older people to move the staff with so velocity. But actually it's not the person that is exerting that velocity. It's just use a uh, main physical principle of torque in order to, to be able to exert that kind of velocity. Also, the use of the staff as a, uh, to, as a strength point in order to be able to uh, disarm your opponent. This is going to be the mechanical part. The dynamical part, which is hidden, is something that is beneath the movement, is related with the, with the timing, with the DI. Um, if we, for example, uh, use uh, a camera and we see a cut or a strike, and for example, you see a cut coming down, maybe we can divide this into, into three times, for example, ba, 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 three times. But the main idea is to avoid the final cut of the enemy and go into the second third, sambundoni. Go, for example, one, two, and you enter in this particular moment. This technique will help you to make a strategy in timing with your opponent and the ancient master used this principle both mechanically to increase velocity and increase the torque that you are exerting on your opponent and also dynamically using the time in the way that the enemy can never touch you. It was really uh, interesting in, in ancient times to see this older person that were not so strong or so fast uh, cannot be touched. And it was not like magic, it was not that like superhuman. They were just using very very clever way to position the weapon to position the, their bodies and to position the mind of the opponent in the way that, they, uh, that you put your opponent in the way you want and the opponent thinks that he can actually reach it and you are going to, to reach them first. So, thank you so much. We're going now to uh, give you some examples of this really, really interesting principle. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, now we're here with George Nogueira. Thank you so much for helping us to transmit this idea and we're going to show you the first mechanical aspect that can be used in this particular concept 
For example, let's say that uh, she's rich, want to attack me using a Yokun key. Imagine I'm an old, old person, and he's a samurai, and he wants to strike my tools. So, I'm going to come here and look at this. I'm going to position my walking stick in this, in this position. And then I can go here and, for example, I can now Sukushiro Shirosh, I can uh, disarm the opponent and then we can go in different uh, techniques to not only disarm but also to arrest our opponent. Also it's very important, this is the mechanical part, when we're going to use uh, the stick as a torque to the, to the our opponent, but also uh, we need to use the timing. For example, uh, Shitosh, can you please do a really slow Nihike uh, Sagiri? So, it's going to cut me and see the timing. It's start to cut. One, two, three. Okay? So, in this position, now I'm going to try to go into the second third. I will try to be in, in this position, he will think he can hit me, but exactly at two thirds of the time, I'm going to use a diagonal to uh, ev uh, to evade their attack and to position myself in a in, in a proper position with my weapon. So start one two. See, there are, there are many ways to do this. Some masters explain that it can be this way, but if I if I have not a lot of a lot of strength, I will use the soil, I will use the earth to uh, avoid this. Then I can again come here and then I can also make the rotation, I can make uh, the leverage on their, on their wrist in order to break that. Uh, this concept can be used in many ways. For example, imagine now that we can, uh, uh, again, can you please Mm, for example, go with the Akesegi again. Remember? One, two. Now, for example, I can try to go here. And I can uh, break, if we can come here for the electrical purpose, to the humerus. I can break here. Then, this is more violent. We're not going to do that because we don't want to hurt us. And then we can. No, here, and then I can here, and then I can press here, I can use here, here, I can block him, and control. So, thank you so much, Yosh. And also, this technique can be applied in uh, to uh, to Kenshi, for example, we can make like again. So push your shoulders. Can we please put just the bokuto down just a little bit to understand the basic principle? Let's go just in this position, and we're going to play just a way to uh, react and encounter ourselves. For example, if he tries to rotate, I will try to rotate too. If he moves uh, uh, over here, I will try to move here. If he tries to go in another position, I will always try to continue being in this position. So, the, the main idea is to play with the distance. And for example, when he wants to attack me, uh, for example, he wants to go with an echo, remember, one, two. Then, for example, he wants to cut me in. Position. One, two. If you want again to come at me, think, look at me. I'm putting some of my uh, open guard to try to make him here. One, two. And we can continue playing this idea in order to be able to uh, to maintain our our advantage because we make our opponent think that he can actually reach us, but uh, we just always one step ahead. Uh, also, we can use another weapon, for example, the Yori. Of 
course, with this weapon I have a longer range, so much dodge. And in this position when he starts, he wants again. And we are always at, uh, open, we open our guard, or we open some space, some Tsukima, some void, so he thinks he can go there, but we take advantage of that and we go first on him. So, uh, I think that's uh, an introduction to what Mokuru can, can, can say, and I truly hope that you have enjoyed and you have uh, learned with this very beautiful principle. Thank you so much, Shido Luis, for your help. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you soon.